Let's win, baby. Just win. That's old school uh, Al Davis Raiders. JWB, just win, baby. Eat, sleep, row. That's what I learned on Lake Carnegie in Princeton, New Jersey. Head coach Luke McGee took me out to practice with the U.S. Men's 8. They qualified for the Olympics in May and then raced at a World Cup and medaled there, which we were pretty excited about. But we know that you know, the competition will be even stronger down in Rio. It was the final Olympic qualification regatta in Switzerland this May that the U.S. men's eight rode across the finish line in time to qualify for a slot in the 2016 Olympic Games. The focus is now on Rio. The British will be really good, the Germans will be good, the Dutch will be very good. Pretty much everybody in our race will be very good, including ourselves. Down. Drag it. Drag it. For perspective, I learned the fundamentals of rowing in the boathouse. So you keep your arms straight and just do like you're doing a squat. Yep, and then, yep. Perfect. To the untrained eye, a coach's job may look very technical, but it's, there's much more to it than that. So I think he's doing some lactate testing on the water so the guys will go a certain distance at a certain intensity, stop, he kind of pricks them on the ear or on the finger, takes blood, and then he can get a reading of what their, their lactate level is in their blood and it tells them kind of the intensity at which they're working. So there'll be some zones that they want to work in. And it's also just a way to kind of gauge their fitness. And it's not their day job. They need to supplement their income as well as train. You're an Uber driver, right? Oh, that's my minivan right over there. It's beautiful. Yep. Steve Kasperzak from Cinnamonson, New Jersey is really hoping for another shot at a medal. This is his second opportunity to compete. Complete him. I was in the 2012 games in the eighth, same event that I'm in now, and we ended up in fourth place about 0.3 seconds off of a medal, which is pretty close. <laughs> Complete it clean, Hans, like the quarter feather. You can see them compete in Rio the 6th through the 13th of August. So you could have a U.S. Olympic team member being your Uber driver. Yes. Right? How about that? Zeke in the Olympics right now, you know, you see all the flack that the U.S. men's golf team is getting, you know, number yeah. one and two in the world. Rory McIlroy isn't playing either uh, because of concerns about Zika, but also the love of the sports that these guys, the, the glory is there, but the money isn't. So you're watching NBAers and NFL players, and yeah, they're in perfect shape. Yeah, they're making millions of dollars. Yeah, they're stars. These guys have to work day in and day out. They do not make a lot of money, if any, from uh, being in the Olympics at all. It's all about glory, love for their country, love for the sport, and that's why people love them. I did ask about the uh, Olympic crushes. They said Olympic diver Cassidy Cook. They hope to meet her. Oh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, bring home the gold, guys.